What are the best ways to consume and use periodic edibles cannabis caramel? There's really two pieces that you want to focus on. The first one is cutting the caramel into the right THC dose that is ideal for you. And then the second one is storing the caramel for a later use if you don't consume it all in one sitting. So let's start with the first one, dosing. We made another video about predicting and estimating the right THC dose for yourself. Once you've got that down, you know what that is, you then have to take the product and cut it up or divide it into the appropriate dose you're looking for. There's really a one, two, three step simple process to doing that. As you see on the back of our caramel, we have a measuring device that breaks the caramel size down into THC by five milligrams at a time. The really the first step to dosing the right dose for yourself is just take out a little knife with the full label on the caramel and just put some pressure on wherever that dose line is that you're looking for, 10 milligrams, 15 milligrams, or 25 milligrams, whatever is ideal for you. That'll make a nice pre-scored line on the caramel. After that, you can put the caramel in the fridge for five minutes. Sometimes you can skip the fridge if it's cool out and it's not too hot. Um, you really don't need to put it in the fridge unless it's a hot summer day. That might be important as the caramel could be extra soft, uh, making it a little more difficult to cut. But once you have your pre-dose line, you either put it in the fridge or you don't. Then you unwrap the caramel. You'll see the little line that you made. Just take the knife you used, finish that cut all the way through. You can even do that with a plastic knife if you're out and about and don't have hard silverware with you. Um, there's a couple different ways you could cut the caramel, but it's really that simple. Getting the right dose size that you're looking for, pre-score it, unwrap the caramel, and then finish the cut all the way through. After you've consumed the dose you want, you can wrap the caramel back up in its original wrapper and label that will stick back to itself and kind of hold the caramel in shape. You can then put the caramel back into the container, close it, and just put it in a cool, dry place until you're ready to use it again. A uh, really cool thing about the containers are they are child-proof or child-resistant certified. But on top of that, they also float on the water. So if you take our caramels out on an adventure, maybe floating down the river, um, and drop them in the water by accident, the caramel will be fine inside of that container. Um, and you can keep it stored there until you're ready to use it the next time, the next time, and the next time. And if you only consume five or 10 milligrams at a time, you can rewrap that caramel four or five times over. It'll always be ready to go the next time you wanna consume it. And one thing for new consumers or someone with a lower tolerance that may not wanna cut our larger caramel size into multiple pieces, we do offer a low dose caramel option, which is essentially two individually wrapped caramels. They're five milligrams each, so a much lower dose in that package. And it makes it really easy to get the lower dose that you're looking for, even down to one or two milligrams of THC, which can be kind of difficult to do with our larger caramel size. So if you're a new consumer or have a low tolerance, check out our low dose option. And last thing, there's a couple different consumption method options you have for the caramel. So once you get your dose to the preferred THC level, you can either orally consume the caramel and there'll be oral activation and onset of the effects from cannabis. The other option is sublingually putting the caramel under your tongue and letting it dissolve that way. It actually will absorb through your mucus glands. We have another video on how those consumption methods work exactly. And we have an infographic right below this video that kind of breaks down the different effects that you can expect to experience depending on which consumption method you decide to use.